Right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back here, part two. Uh, now we're going to do the reassembly of the MCK. The reassembly is pretty simple. Uh, it's just what I did in reverse. Uh, bar a few little tricks to get you um, successfully done. So after you've done Cerakoting, painting it, or doing whatever you want to do to the MCK, um, what we'll do now is we'll take the side with the uh, the little lip here, put that down first, and then we're going to take the mag catch button. Okay, mag catch button is pretty simple. It's a little spring. Sometimes it jumps off. It's annoying. All right, but we're going to put that in first, like so. Next, we're going to take the frame lock and spring. And it's pretty simple. On here, what does it say? Left and right. All right, it's the right side of the MCK. We're going to put that spring inside. I'm going to let it sit like so. Sometimes this can be a little bit of a pain because you have to try and get this section underneath that spring. All right. You're going to maintain, you're going to make sure now you got these installed. You want to make sure that you have all the nuts necessary for the assembly in place. And you're going to marry up the MCK to the other body. All right, so you're going to wiggle in the mag catch. You're going to stick your finger in there, make sure frame lock is in place. Okay. Just to make sure it's there. All right. So to help with assembly, what we're going to do first, we're going to take the longest side screw, put that in place on top, holding it together, take that nut, The reason why I do this is because I want to make sure we have it together, whether it's the right one or not. This is a little trick we have. If it marries up with the nut, there we go. A little trick we have to keep it in place. Okay, now it's in. All right, so we are going to find what we need. So this one is the shortest one. Like so this one goes in the front here. Remember? Yeah. And we're gonna take this one back out now and put this one back in. Okay. Then we're gonna take our big screw in. Next screw. Last one on the front end. All right. So now we don't have to worry about it falling apart on us. So remember, I told you to worry about this little screw. All right. We need to take the rear housing, take this little screw, and there's a little channel there. You're going to put it into the channel, let it drop in place. If you need to, you can take something to poke it into place. So it stays there because what's going to happen is you're going to screw the top rail down into this. All right. So let's slide this on the back. Then we take that final screw in place. And then we're going to screw that down. All right. As you know, there is a torque wrench here, torque screwdriver. We are going to torque these down. And if you want to as well, um, as this is one of our shops, we won't do it, but uh, you can put Loctite on all of these. And remember, it's a little Loctite goes far. Okay, so it's a little drop of blue or red Loctite will work with these guys. Okay, so now that's in place. So let's focus on the top rail. So stand her up. We're going to find the top rail. And you see the cuts, they marry up pretty good. The rule of thumb is the flat part here goes to the rear housing first. And once you got it in place, you can drop it in. And it should line up pretty good. All right. Now we're going to take the screws, put the screws in.
and they're all the same ones. It's nice and easy for you to work with. You know. So those are all there. All right. Next. Let's assemble the gun door area. So, pretty simple. Big spring, hole, put in the hole. You're going to then take the button, put the button in. Get the gun door, gun door on, spring in. So, with our hole punch we had earlier, go ahead and just put it in place. That'll keep it secure. Now what we're going to do is get that block out again to work on. Line it up like so. You're going to take the metal pin or the plastic pin, depending on what model you have. Hold that button. Put the pin in. And if you need to, you can hit it with the hammer. To send it home. And now that button is in place. The door is opening and shutting. Just make sure. Very good. We can then take the charging handle and install the charging handle. As you know, it needs to sit like so. You're going to put one hook in, next hook, and it goes. Move this block. Okay, next. We're going to move on to the side rails. All right. So you got a left and a right side. Okay. Look how easy that is. Left side is an L. So we're going to put it on the other side. And that's the right side. So we're going to pretty simply this little mark here. It's going to go in there. It's going to take a little first screw in place. So, double over, same thing. Okay, so the next part we're going to do is the barrel and barrel assembly. So, let's clean up our board a little bit. We're going to get the barrel and barrel assembly. So, let's unscrew the screws we stored into the barrel. Okay, and we're going to marry up the adapter. Pretty simple system, okay? Once it's in place, you should be good. And we kept those screws in to stop the nuts from falling out, all right? When the nuts fall out and they fall on the floor or like my button just did, it flew away, it can be a pain to find. So we know we're coming up to the assembly, so let's go ahead and put it in like so. And then let's take out the screw. Take out the other screw. Okay. Install it. And then go ahead and put those screws back in right away so you don't lose them. All right. Next. And if, remember what gun we're using. So uh, this one I'm going to be using today with the Glock 17. So I'm going to have it set in the 17 position. I'm going to take those larger screws and I'll put those in place. Okay. And the very last thing we need to do is install the brace or stock assembly. So let's get our block back out. All right, we're going to put it like so. Right. We're going to have the stock or assembly or brace go in. 
and it'll click into place. So now that we have the stock put on or the brace put on in this position, it makes life easier for ourselves. So what we're going to do, we're going to reach over, grab this pin. Once you have this pin, put it in place, and then grab that hammer, do a little tap, send it home. And the very last thing to do is to secure it with the e-clip. What I like to do with the e-clip is I like to place it in, like so. Take the hole punch and then your finger on top just to hold it in place. It doesn't flip away. And in it goes. So that is a full assembly of the MCK. Um, all the steps are there. Please like, subscribe, and follow uh, our page. We have a new podcast coming out soon, um, which will be some insight into our industry a little bit more. Thank you for following. Thank you for liking. Have a great day.